Well, the man accused of attempted murder and a hate crime shooting in Stockton was back in court today, but so was the victim, and he's actually doing very well. In an ABC 10 exclusive, Kurt Rivera has more now on how Bobby Gale made it to this point. Waiting patiently outside the courtroom, 45-year-old Bobby Gale with family and friends, eager to see 31-year-old defendant Michael Hayes in person in court for the first time. I want to make sure people like him is not out on the streets walking around because of the hatred that I felt from him, that I believe that he will do it again. It was nearly three weeks ago, a late Friday night, when Gail had just finished up a construction job inside a North Stockton restaurant. Prosecutors say Hayes drove his pickup truck nearby, prompting Gail to tell him to slow down. Then he allegedly got out, shouted the N-word twice, and opened fire. Gail was shot seven times, including twice to his head. At the courthouse, he showed us the wounds still visible, including one where a bullet is still lodged in his skull. The way he had look in his eye of hatred, he had more hate in him than I had in me, and he's the one who was shooting me. He basically tried to take my brother from me. He tried to take his life, and he just, he standing there with perfect poise, with that hatred aimed at my brother. We're asking us to continue this to December 1st. Michael Hayes' appearance in court was brief. His arraignment was continued, but it was just enough time for Bobby Gale to finally get a look at the man for the first time. The man the district attorney believes tried to end Bobby Gale's life. So what went through his mind? Why would he try to kill me the way he tried? And I wonder if he's shocked to see that I'm still alive. I want to get eye contact with him, but nothing, no hatred or anything like that. I just want to know why he tried to kill me. Did you make eye contact when he see you? No, he probably wouldn't even know who I am. I'm not for sure. Mm, such a disturbing case. Gail has no more surgery scheduled. He says he feels about 90% normal for now. He's being monitored. He hopes to go back to work soon.